it's, it is a big test, Gary, but your home form's been brilliant, hasn't it, recently? That must be really spurring you on to keep that going as well against the best team in the division. Yeah, I talked about Ellen Road becoming a fortress. I've, in my experiences here, obviously been on the other side of it. I've seen how difficult environment that can be to play in and for an opposition team. So I talked about it right at the start that we need to make sure Ellen Road is a, is a place that teams come and find it difficult to play and, and we're building that, you know, we have done. And um, the crowd are responding to it, the players most importantly are responding to it and we got there to try and keep that run going. Um, it's going to be difficult but we know we have enough in the changing room to make sure it's a difficult day for Newcastle but um, whatever the result, we'll, we'll maintain that and uh, we'll try and keep that run going as, as best as possible. Leeds fans are famous for turning up whatever the team's doing but they, there's a real feeling they're enjoying what they're seeing on the pitch, you must be proud of that. Yeah, it's important. It's important for everyone connected with the club. Um, like I said, they haven't seen this type of atmosphere for a long time. I know the Leeds fans, this is what they look for, this is what they want. Um, it also shows that what, the way that we're working is we're doing something right, the players are doing something right, and um, long may that continue. But it's hard work, it's um, ups and downs as well. We'll suffer ups and downs throughout the rest of the season, but as long as we all stick together. We all fight in the right direction. Um, hopefully, there'll be more occasions and in terms of numbers in, in, in the ground um, in the future. After that great win at Norwich, it felt the next game couldn't come quick enough. But with hindsight, has, has the break actually been a, a good thing? Do you think for the players? Yeah, it's always a good thing because you get time to tweak things that you want to tweak and tactically, um, also correct mistakes that you've been making in games, um, and also physically you work with the players as well. So um, no, we use the break as best as possible. Um, Strangely, I think um, in, in the breaks that we've had in the previous ones, we've gone in there with good confidence. We've had good results before them, and then um, we haven't done the best when we've come out the other side in that first game. So we want to change that. That's our focus. That's a bit of motivation for us. Um, is to make sure that we get a good result on the weekend and a good performance. You've spoken all the season that injuries will come and players have got a key part to play. Obviously, okay, and uh, Dallas Brink Cup. And now Hernandez out of your midfield, that, that's some loss, isn't it, at the minute? Yeah, and we've not the biggest squad. We've not the most experienced squad, but I trust all my players. I've proven that. I've used all of them. They've all contributed to the season so far. Everyone understands whenever they're called upon what they have to do and, and what their role is. And, um, and it's trusting your players. I trust all these young players and the experiences they're gaining. Um, another situation on Sunday that they face um, is another good experience for them. So the key is to come through them, understand the experience and take it forward into the next game and keep improving, which they're doing at the moment, which is really pleasing to see. You mentioned that you were hopeful that Dallas would come back from the international break. You know, he didn't have to go away, but OK, and as well, are you happy with how they've been trapped by the countries and the fact that they've been allowed to come straight back? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's, it's, it was important, I think, with Stewie, obviously, it was that international break came probably a couple of weeks too early. Um, he literally just started to train. Um, when that international break starts, so it's, it's very obvious that he wasn't ready for a game. So he's had a good period of training now. He'd be obviously um, in contention to be selected, and then obviously with Union as well, it was the right decision. So um, no, there's, there's no problems whatsoever. And having him back here, getting the proper training into them that they need in preparation for this game. And length of time, sorry, out for Hernandez. How long does he have? Um, we're not sure. So so far, we're going to have another um, scan um, either tomorrow or Monday um, to get the the full. Report back on him, but obviously he'll be um, a doubt for the weekend. Uh, and Chris Wood has been all over the world again with New Zealand. Is he fit and raring to go? Yeah, he's good. Um, come back in really good shape. There's a lot of things now for the, these players, international players that travel distances to put in place to help them best recover and and be in the best shape for when they return. And obviously having the extra day where the game's on the Sunday um, allows another 24 hours for Chris. But he's fine. He looks after himself well. He's a good professional. Obviously, we put things in place to help him, and um, no, there's no problems whatsoever. The message is always the same from yourself: work hard, keep improving, cut out the mistakes. Have you had a chance yourself to review the opening few months of the season in the last couple of weeks? No, I constantly monitor where we are and constantly look at what I can improve for the players. Um, but we're working in a really good way. I'm very happy with with the group. Um, they all know what we need to improve on. Um, what mistakes that we've corrected and what needs to be done better and um, also to recognise what we've done well and keep doing it and keep improving on that. So um, helping them in that way is, is the key to everything. So um, no, we're working in a good way. We're looking forward to every game. 
we understand where we're at and, and we're trying to get better every every single time we go on the pitch. And last one from me. You knew when you come in there was some exciting young talent here. Has it has it surprised you just how good some of the maybe the lesser lights are? You know the guys you maybe didn't know so much about when you came in. No, not so, not so much. Um, it's understanding your role as a manager to how to bring it out of them. You know, there's always talented young players at every club. Um, maybe numbers are different in terms of how many you've got, but um, it's also spotting it and, and making sure that they're they're able to bring it out and they can do something for the team. And um, with the young players that we have, which is a lot of them, um, helping them on that journey is is it's always nice to see. It's, it's makes part of the job very enjoyable and. When they respond in the way that they're responding, it's, it's obviously a good feeling for them and for, and for us as a staff um, to make them see them grow every game and, and obviously enjoying them and playing for Leeds United.